Okay, hello. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here. Uh, in this topic, uh, we will talk about the development cloud uh, in the China mobile with 3,000 nodes. We will review the architect and the deployment of this cloud and uh, some of the implement detail of the cloud. My name is uh, Jin Yun Tong. Uh, I'm from China. And, uh, as a technical marketing engineer from Intel Open Technology Center, uh, I promote OpenStack and other open, open source technology in the cloud to the marketing. This project is a co-effort from Intel and China Mobile. and is part of Intel Cloud for All initiative program. The goal of this project from Intel's perspective is to help our custom solution implement cloud that we can share the experience and uh, you know, feedback or what we have done and uh, what the customer needs and uh, to the upstream community. And uh, we believe this will help us to accelerate OpenStack adoption with large-scale deployment. And uh, we also have Yao Jun from China Mobile here. Yao Jun, tell us. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Yao Jun. I'm from China Mobile Cloud Computing Division. Um, today, I'm glad to co-work with uh, Intel guys to introduce our uh, Ibeo Metal Cloud uh, experience. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, you know, we are supposed to have uh, Li Hao from China Mobile here, and uh, who is a key contributor in this project. But unfortunately, he can't be there because uh, uh, there are visa issue. So, OK. Here's the agenda. Firstly, we will talk about the practice of OpenStack in China Mobile. And then we will talk about the architecture and the deployment in this development cloud and some of the implement detail. And at the last, we will have a call for action. China Mobile, as the leading telecom service provider in China marketing, they are transitioning their IT and CT infrastructure to the cloud. And they choose OpenStack to help them with the transition to the cloud. They have deployed several very large-scale OpenStack cluster for their public cloud and the private cloud also. China Mobile is also the gold member of uh, OpenStack Foundation and uh, been the super user at the Barcelona Summit, right? They have their public cloud resource in Guangzhou and uh, in Beijing, also in Beijing. And, uh, if you're interested in what they're offering in their public cloud, you can visit the website here. OK, let's talk about the development cloud. Here is the three resource pool in China that they are planning to deploy development resource. One is in Harbin resource pool, which will be have 3,000 nodes in this year and they plan to expand to over 20,000 nodes in future. And also, there's a resource pool in Beijing and uh, in Hohaut. In Hohaut, there will be 1,200 nodes in this year, and they will plan to expand to over 2,000 nodes, parliamentary nodes, in future. You might realize that uh, all these three locations are in the very north of China. And you may figure out why, right? It can be very cold there. So now let's look at the architecture and the deployment of this parameter cluster that will be deployed in Harbin resource. 
all the, res all the service and uh, the parliamentary resource will be deployed in three zones. Those three zones are network isolated. The left one is the DMZ zone, which is public to internet. The end user will access their service and resource from there. So, service like NOAA VNC proxy will be deployed there to provide a VNC service for the end user. Also, HA proxy and uh, with KPL Live service will be there to do the load balance for OpenStack API. In the middle of the picture is the core zone, which will be deployed OpenStack core service, like Nova API, Nova Conductor, Nova Scheduler, and uh, the Neutron and the uh, Selimeter kl service. The right zone is the called production zone. All the parliamentary resource and the storage resource will be put there. Now lo let's look at the, how exactly those services been deployed. In the control zone, like I said, will be deployed the OpenStack core service. And we have uh, three nodes to host all these services, like uh, SA Proxy, uh, Nova, Neutron, Killstone, and uh, the Cellmeter, and also database like MySQL. We deployed MySQL cluster, Ganglia, uh, Ganglia uh, on three nodes. There will be two set of MySQL cluster. One is for the Cellmeter service, and another one is for the rest of uh, NOAA service. RabbitMQ had the similar placement with the three node cluster and the two set of the cluster, which one is for the Cellmeter, and another one is for the other OpenStack service. The product zone will be, ho will be host the IJ proxy and uh, also a Ionic service. Since the, storage since the storage resource will be in this zone, so the glance service will be also placed in here. So, so does the like, uh, Cinder volume service. So there will be 10 nodes in this zone to host Ionic and the, and the, and the and the glance service. One of the one of the challenges here when we deploy when we when we do the deployment is that in China Mobile, the existing OpenStack service are killer version. Why? for the Ionic service to catch up all this key requirement that has been implemented in recent release, we have to use the Otaka version of Ionic. We don't have much trouble for the API contact uh, compatible. Thanks for the mic, uh, API mic version. But we do have some lot of issue from Nova, especially from the Nova Ionic driver. Since like, you know, risk condition and the kind of delete the instance while swapping, a lot of effort need to put here to track all this issue and backport the fix from Nova side. Okay. So next, we will talk about some uh, future that are support in this uh, cloud. We had a very active and amazing community in OpenStack and in the Ionic. They have implemented all these requir key requirements for a development cloud that I can list all of them here. Some of the future that we, were, we are going to talk about here 
and to show you how to integrate them in the development cloud. For the ironic driver, we are choosing the Agenda IPMI2, which means it will boot from the PXE, deployment with the agent, and uh, do the power, man power manager with IPMI. We all know that there's two ways in Ironic to do the deployment. One is the ISCASI way, and the other one is the agent way. The reason we are choosing the agent way is because that the, we have a Ironic agent, which is IPA, Ironic Python agent, that will, that will help us to do all this deployment work, which means we can implement all the process, pro, uh, develop, uh, deployment process we need from the agent here. And the other reason is that only the agent way support the rate configuration. So of course, we support the multi-tenants, right? We are, the, we are supposed to have a cloud here. And which means we have to support the local boot. As we know that from the, uh, as we know that uh, after the provisioning process, the provision network will be teared down and switch to the tennis network, which means the element on the tennis network will not be able to access the provision network. So the PXC server will be on the provision network. So the elemental has to boot up themselves from local disk. We support the new network as a default network. And there will be three part STN solution integrated with the new uh, there, will, there, will, there will be another session from China Mobile to walk you through the detail of how to do the SDI integration within the development cloud. I think the session will be on the Thursday, right? Uh, when, uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Thursday, right? <laughs> and and uh, the underlying layer of the SDI is using the VXLAN. Another feature we support is the Windows image. So to support Windows image, you have to choose the whole disk image feature in Ironic. And one of the problems here we met to support Windows image is that when we build the Windows image, there's always a system crash to boot up the system. And it turns out we are missing the RAID driver in the Windows image. So you probably want to make sure you include all the driver that need to put up the system. HA of the Nova computer. HA feature is a key requirement in production environment. We all talk about HA of uh, OpenStack service. Like I mentioned before, there will, the, there will be 10 Nova computer service deployed on, on, on 10 nodes to achieve the high availability. And uh, the, the 3,000 nodes behind the Nova computer were controlled, were controlled by those services. So if one of the Nova computer failed, there will be like 300 nodes left unmanageable. So with Nova computer actually solution, when the, 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 the Ionic node behind the, no, behind the failed Nova computer will be taken over by the other computer service.
That way, remind me we have uh, some similar si situation with Nova Conduct. Like we have uh, 10 service deployed in, uh, with Nova Conduct. And Nova Conduct will provide TFTP service for the biometric nodes behind them. Right? If one of the Nova Conduct failed, there will be there, there, there will be like also 300 nodes unable to access the PXC ser uh, TFTP server. And the, when, when, the, when the Nova conductor failed, there will be a rebalance process in the ironic. But the, the, the rebalance process will involve like uh, deploy, involve set up all the TFTP server for the computer node that they served. So we will do some more tests to find out how long it will take for the ironic conduct to complete the rebalance process. Download image from glance directly. The usual way you ironic to get the deployment image from, from glance is that the backend storage for the, for the glance, like a Swift Swift, uh, like Swift service, that will explode a URL, temporary URL. And the node will download the image from the URL. But the situation in our de deployment is that we, there will be no Swift service. So the glance will explode this download URL, and the Alonica IPA will get the image directly from the glance. Here is some more detail about the network in this, in this uh, environment. For each biometric nodes, there will be five NIC cards. Two of, the, uh, two of them are one gigabyte Ethernet card, which will bound as the management network. And other two of them is 10 gigabyte fiber card which will bound as the business network, uh, which the business network will be also served as the provision network, cleaning network, and also tennis network. And there will be also a VLAN sub-interface for the storage network to isolate the storage traffic from the tennis traffic. The last one is uh, one gigabyte Ethernet, which will, which will be used as the IPMI power management. So the, 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 the problem here is when we do the provisioning, there will be two, there will be two fiber cars for the provision network. And we have to use one of the specific car to, plug, to attach the node to the provision network. Ironica won't do this for us. They just use the first, very first uh, Ironica port to do the attachment. So we need to add some extra property in the ironic part, like, like we add the main nick. If the main nick is yes, then we choose this car at, to attach to the provision network. So we talked about before that two of the fiber car were bound together. 
So part group, so we have to support the part group. I will talk about this part group in, uh, integrate, uh, in integrate within two, within three step. One is the inspection and uh, the provisioning. And uh, finally, up to update to the tennis network. So, when we do the ironic development uh, deployment, the very first step is to do the inspection. We the first step is create the ironic nodes, which we will put information like uh, deployment kernel, uh, deployment RAM disk and uh, the information about the ironic driver, which in this case, we are using the IPMI. So we need to put an IBM address, the username, and the password. And, we, and, uh, after, the, and, the, and uh, after the node created, we set up the provision state as the inspect. So the inspect process will get started. It will, get, it will get the DHCP address from Neutron and download the inspector image from the TFTP server and PXE boot the nodes. And once the nodes put up, it will load the IPM, it will load the inspect image, which have the IPA agent in there. The IPA agent will do the inspect to collect all the hardware information of the elemental nodes, which include the network car, the LLDP information. And the agent will send back all this information to inspect, inspection server. Inspection server will then format all this information, put the information into network, into the, uh, put the information as the ironic port property. So, after the, inspe after the inspe uh, inspection, the, 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 the node will be shut down, and uh, the provisioning process will get started. The Nova, the Nova boot will issue this process, and uh, the Nova API will schedule the request to one of the, one of the, one of the Nova computer. No computer will then ask the neutron to allocate a port. The, the port we allocate here is, for, is, is the uh, ten, tenant, network, tenant network, and uh, which is unbound at this stage. So the other things that no computer will do here is to pass all this user information to the config driver. This information will include, you know, how to do the bound uh, for the network car, how to create the storage sub interface. So then we set the provisioning state as active, and we will and they will do the deployment. Once the deployment is complete, it will put up, it. It will shut down the elemental nodes. So, from Ionic side, when the Ionic API received the requirement from Nova, from Nova, they will ask the Nova conductor to do the node deployment, and the conductor will ask the neutron to create a provision report and update the DHCP information. Then the node will get the DHCP information and uh, download, the, download the deployment image from the TFTP server. Do the deployment and shut down the parameter. So, at this stage, when the, when the deployment complete, it will tear down the provision network and 
switch to the tennis network. And we, we have all the LLTP information in the ironic port. So it will configure the Let's configure the tor, the tor, the tor switch, and then it will reboot. The node will reboot the parameter nodes, and uh, when the when the system starts, it will use you, it will use the information in the uh, config driver to do the port bounding, and uh, create the storage sub interface. So this is pretty much all the, all the implement detail that we would like to talk about today. China Mobile, the strategy on OpenStack is it's, it's always upstream first. So they put a lot of engineers that are which active participate in the upstream community. We have, a, we have a lot of uh, requirement and uh, proposal in the community that we would like your help, like no computer HA solution, that we would like to your review and uh, contribute. The ironic extend, external display driver, it will, it will launch a VNC for the KVM. Uh, the KVM stand, uh, here stand for the keyboard, video, and mouse, which will allow the end user to use the KVM to switch their elemental console. Other feature like a red configuration driver, the, frame, the framework is there in upstream community, but we are, we are lack of a lot of uh, driver from the server provider. Other things like uh, we would like to support Bellamento Cloud and with uh, Virtual Machine Cloud in the same region. Okay, that will be all the information we would like to share today. As last, we want to thank you, the Obster community, and thank you all for being here to watch this. Thank you.